Dozens of refugees and asylum seekers returned to 129 Peter Street after spending the night at a North York church. They are here waiting for shelter spaces as they slowly begin opening up across the city. Advocates tell us there is still a long way to go in their journey to a better life. Camped out on Toronto's streets once again, asylum seekers and refugees crowd the shelter intake office on Peter Street, still in a desperate search for a space. Have you had any luck? What have you been told? I have been told to wait. John Mbigo was one of more than 200 people relocated to Revival Time Tabernacle Church in North York. He spent two nights there before returning downtown today. You weren't comfortable at the church? Yeah, I'm not comfortable at the church because people are suffering there. Even the, the washroom, it's only two washrooms for the ladies and for men. But we are almost 250 people there. At the church, dozens of boxes of food donated today, but Pastor Judith James says there's still a desperate need for basic necessities. Right now we only have two showers for 230 people, so you can imagine. So right now we're hoping that we can get some portable washrooms and portable showers in. James says she's been forced to turn people away today as her church is now at capacity. We are, we're seeing more people show up and so there's another church that was willing to take them, uh, Dominion Church, and so they were able to go back there today. But advocates are warning churches are a band-aid and unsustainable solution. Uh, they still have to sleep on floors, obviously in a better space than outdoors, in a safer space, but the conditions are still very difficult yeah. and they're starting to get um, overwhelmed as well with the number of folks that are, are heading there. Gwen Madiba is with the Black Canadian Homeless Foundation. Her team has spent the day helping to transport people to motels. Rather than waiting outside in a, in a space that is unsafe here, uh, these are temporary solutions. Even our solution is temporary. We don't, this is not a project that is backed by the government. She tells us there are pregnant women and people with health conditions still waiting for spaces. Why is that that a pregnant woman is still in the street crying and desperate to find a space? Uh, human rights are for everybody. Tina Yazdani, City News.